Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property uh, in Elko County, Nevada that I'd like to show you. I was asking $3,800 for this one. This one's actually owned by Rick Scatterday, a partner of mine. So he'd be the one signing the deed over to you. Um, but I, I was looking at this and it hasn't been selling. $3,800, uh, 2.07 acres. And... Um, figure it needs a lower price that's that's just the bottom line right um it's in humboldt river ranchos uh, and um taxes been 24 dollars a year i just pulled up the taxes and um so the 2017 tax came out we got to pay that we'll, we'll get that paid before you get the property it was was actually a little less, twenty six dollars and fifty three cents. The previous year was twenty seven. Or is that? Now I'm scratching my head. Oh, that's late. That's why there's twenty seven. Yeah, we'll get it paid. So here's a road here. Garfield Avenue and or a or a. <laughs> whatever drive I can't pronounce it I'm sure it's an easy one but I'm just I got stage fright or something um, so let's get back to the property uh, here's GPS coordinates let's pull this up uh, no closing dock fees you know we'll, we'll make sure the taxes are paid up and everything's good to go and record it in your name if you buy this one let's see where it is on the map see if you want it so let's zoom out first we're in Elko County Nevada I'm down here um, but this is this is Nevada, and so northern Nevada. This is northeastern Nevada. Elko County is a big county. Here's Elko is the city, and they've got Walmart, Home Depot, like that kind of stuff. Let's see how far that is. Let's do Elko Home Depot. I mean, that'll give you an idea what anything in town is. Home Depot is on the other side of town. They got the college and schools, grocery stores. All kinds of supplies there. 17 miles. It says 23 minutes away from town. So you're outside of town. You don't have to bother with any people. But you still have the convenience of all kinds of supplies right there. And so you'd go up the freeway here. And um, you could probably see what it looks like. Yeah, so there's your exit. So here's the countryside. Here's a you know, kind of truck stop off to the side. And... You know, it's it's almost always blue skies here, big blue skies. Let's see what the exit says. Oh, I missed it. There was a sign back there somewhere. <laughs> um, I can go back and try to get it so you know what the exit is. And that sign totally disappeared on me. Right there, right? Let's see if that works. Oh, right next to it. Sorry, guys. I'm just farting around. But here's, you can see the nice rolling hills down to the south. Rendon, Devil's Gate. So you get off at Devil's Gate. And uh, nice paved Interstate 80. You pull off, you get off there, and you drive north. Almost looks like it's raining up there. But there's some rolling hills up there as well. And a couple people live closer to the road here. I don't know why you'd want to live that close to the road. You're just going to hear it. You want to get away from the road so you don't want to hear it, right? The semi's going through all night long. So here's a country store. Looks like they got hamburgers and stuff. Never been to that store. Here we go. Look at that. Let's see the reviews. Looks like a pretty good hamburger. Reasonable prices, 12 bucks for a burger and fries. They're so cheap, they give me one fry sauce. Pretty, <laughs> that guy didn't give him a good review. Stop for gas, very welcoming staff. Great food, great people. Excellent food and very friendly. New owners, super cool people. Don't worry, the little community here is a little sketchy, but they are all nice people. <laughs> if anything, pull off the freeway, stop here, stretch your legs, grab a pop. Look around, it's inter 
It's interesting. There's a little cafe inside to grab something. And then there's a picture of the burger. So there's your there's your local um, eatery. So you get off there, you go past that, and you're going up Coal Mine Canyon Road. It looks like you turn. I doubt this one has street view. Let's take a look though. Yeah, no street view. Looks like you cross a little wash. Go up to Johnson Avenue. There's a house here. I mean, a mobile home. They paved their driveway. Johnson Avenue. Let's see how far up Johnson we got to go. To a no namer over to your property. Just get past Cleveland Avenue, and this one's on the corner. Let's see if they got 3D of this area. That'd be nice, right? It's not doing 3D. Maybe it's because I got got the directions. Let's get rid of this. Let's see if that'll give us 3D action. They don't have 3D data here. But it looks like uh, it's relatively flat. I and mean, you got a neighbor over here. Let's check them out. Yeah, they just scraped the whole lot. A mobile home with some trees, maybe a garden going on. They figured out how to do it. You can figure out how to do it. This is going to be one cheap place. Go set up. No one around to bother to tell you what to do. Neighborhood just it's built, just hasn't been filled in. So I'm thinking $1,499 for this one. It's a uh, little over two acres. For fourteen ninety nine, you got your own property. You could put a mobile home out there. You could build a cabin. You could build something. Get a Nevada address. Stop paying income tax like most of the rest of the states, and just go for it. So if you want to go for it, um, here's here's some property lines. It's just classic square. It's half of that block. Same distance north and south. You know, just a classic square. Uh, of uh, Garfield Avenue and this one's got the name of the cross street O-R-A-G-R-A-N-D-E Orgrade Orgrand or 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 Drive I don't know why I can't pronounce that one guys sorry so that was it couple taxes we'll pay that and you can go to the website. I'll change the prices to one thousand four hundred ninety-nine bucks, and click on it and be done. And it, I'll get it into your name in short order. Get the deed uh, recorded to uh, the address that you put in there, mailed to that address, and future tax bills mailed to that address, and um, all fees included. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Luke Smith at RuralVacantLand.com.